So both of the four wheelers are in low gear and four wheel drive. And Dan will put his in four wheel drive. And to keep weight off of it, he's gonna. Dan. The truck's only been stuck for like an hour and it has four wheel drive. It's not every day that Uncle Dan calls us asking for help. It's usually the other way around. It's always the other way around. It, no, it's true. It's <laughs> always the other way around. But today, as you can see, Jamie and I have a couple of straps because Uncle Dan got stuck. Now, Uncle Dan's going to say it was Lou's fault. That's his wife. You know, mm -hmm. Sister Lou. Uh, but uh, the truth be told, Uncle Dan took his side-by-side -side down to the woods during our most recent flooding. <laughs> And tried to hot dog and hot rod a little bit. Yeah, because he's, he's a and man and he can do all things. And from what I understand, he got bogged down pretty deep. So he's asked us to come over today, bring the four wheelers and help try to get him out. So off we go with straps in hand. Not a lot. How many inches did we get, Jamie? I think I'm not going to go very far. <laughs> Thank God for four-wheel drive when you need it. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what's happening here. Folks, I'm going to explain to you what's happening here. And I'm talking loud because we got the four-wheelers and stuff. So the river is on the rise. The river is on the rise. There's a problem with that. Now, right now, the river is only coming across the back pastures. The river is only coming across the back pastures from all the rain. Runoff and, uh, and everything else. But it's slowly, as you can see, it's starting to climb its way across my dad's pasture. And you know the way water flows. Oh my gosh. Really, Jamie? That looks about ridiculous. <laughs> oh gosh. Now I am really curious to see what Uncle Dan has got himself into here. So I see his truck over there in the distance. Folks, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is his truck also stuck? Has he also got his truck stuck? Oh! Oh, Lord, look, there it is. Okay, if this is not the most embarrassing thing ever, you all know Uncle Dan. I love my brother. Oh, Jamie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let me get a video of this real, real fast. Oh, I love my brother, but this is the funniest thing ever. Not only has he got his side-by-side -side bogged down, but he's also come over here and got his truck bogged down. Oh, sheesh, Uncle Dan. This is just too funny. Now, the bad thing is, this may not come out very easily. And I'll tell you why it may not come out easily. Uh, so, number one, go ahead and cut it off, babe. Uh, his side-by-side -side is a lot heavier than what these four-wheelers are. A lot heavier. That's buried. I don't know why he drove his truck over there. Why wouldn't he have driven his truck across this high ridge? Well, I think so. Oh, look. There he comes. <laughs> there he comes there. What? Jamie. <laughs> uh, why don't you go pick him up, Jamie? Right. You can take mine if you want to. Mine's a little bit heavier than yours is. If no, you want to. Get stuck too. Okay, that's funny. All right, so Uncle Dan. Okay, so here's what's going on. He sends me a text. I'll stick that on here. That's funny. And he says he got stuck. And then uh, he asked me, should I, could I come down with my four-wheeler? And I says, why don't you just use your tractor? And he goes, he can't because it's too soft to use a tractor. And he's probably right. Guys, it's pretty soft here. I mean, I can... Our tractors are heavy. And... Um, these four wheelers are a whole lot lighter. Now, they're not going to be strong enough to pull this thing out, I'm afraid. We can certainly try. But uh, when they say it bottoms out, what that means is it gets stuck so low that all of the, the carriage underneath is actually 
is what stuck. I'm sure his tires are just sitting there spinning, but the carriage, the, the metal underneath, all of the framing is what stuck. And that's why it's going to be so hard to get it out of there. Um, so we'll see what happens if we put both four wheelers on it. So Dane came down with this truck is the scoop that I got thinking that it was a little bit drier over here because the sand's soft, but the dirt wasn't so bogged down. So the truck's only been stuck for like an hour and it has four wheel drive. So this, all right, this is good. Keep good. So only took one four wheeler to get that done, which is nice. <laughs> Step one is done. Put his in four wheel drive and to keep weight off of it he's gonna all four wheels are turning and oh boy oh all right <laughs> it's crazy that a four wheeler pulled a truck out but it took two four wheelers to pull this sucker out and i want this i want this to be known for as long as I can remember, I have always been, Dan is my number one go-to guy when I do something foolish. And this might be the first time ever, Dan, that you guys had to call me because of you doing something foolish. This is I a had, proud moment. I had to swallow my pride for sure. He had to swallow his pride for sure, he says. I am, am I just beaming with pride right now? Babe, your, your cheeks probably hurt from just the, the it just feels gleam. Good to know that you were called upon because I swear, Dan has come to my rescue more times than I can count uh, on my fingers and toes for sure. <laughs> and this might be the first time I can remember when I got called for help. You notice I waited two days before I called <laughs> It took him two days to call for help. That's how much pride he had to swallow. Ah, uh, well, it's out. Right, well, out. Back in business. I swear, Dan has come to my rescue more times than I can count. Uh, on my fingers and toes for sure. <laughs> and this might be the first time I can remember when I got called for help. You notice I waited two days before I called <laughs> It took him two days to call for help.